So today I'm gonna teach you how to make this trellis polka dot afghan. It's super cute. It has a um, scalloped edge. It's really tough to see the scalloped edge because it's um, dark in color, but it's really cute and really easy and goes really quickly. Um, I'm going to show you on the Bernat baby blanket yarn and I would say three to five skeins makes up a baby size afghan. And then I also used the Hometown USA yarn just because it was in similar weight to the Baby Burnett for my polka dots. I used green and blue. Obviously I needed more blue for my border, um, but I would think like pink or purples would come out super cute too. Um, as far as my hook, I used a nine millimeter, I don't know if you can see that, hook. Um, the Burnett calls for a 10 a number 10 um, millimeter, or I guess it's a number 15, but I used a nine because I wanted my stitches just a little bit closer together. And then you're also gonna need a yarn needle to do a whip stitch um, once you get your squares made. But um, the Afghan with this size yarn goes pretty quickly and um, it's really fun and it comes out really, really cute. Please click subscribe on the bottom corner so that I can keep bringing you things and let's get started. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is make a slip knot. Um, you twist, you grab your yarn, twist, and then um, just pull through to make a slip knot. So when you pull that, it just kind of slides back and forth. And I'm going to put my hook in there. And I'm going to chain four. So yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through. Oops, yarn over, oh my goodness yarn over pull through. Okay so I have chained four and now I'm gonna go back into my very first stitch here. I'm gonna yarn over, go through the first stitch, yarn over pull through, yarn over pull through two, yarn over pull through two. Now all of a sudden we have two um, stitches um, almost like a double crochet. I'm counting this as a double crochet. This is my second double crochet in this um, beginning round. Um, and I'm going to do six of them. So I'm one, two, so I'm going to yarn over, go through the loop, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, that's three, yarn over. Now you see my um, my little beginning uh, loop is starting to expand. I'm going to kind of keep it slightly tight, but I'm going to be putting a lot of stitches in here. So um, we're going to do a series of six. So yarn over, go through the middle, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. So then I have one, two, three, four, five. So I'm going to do one more, yarn over, go through that middle, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. Okay, so now I have six um, or five counting my beginning uh, chain four on here. I'm gonna turn my work. I'm going to go to the top of that chain four and put my, my hook in there. I'm gonna wrap my, the thread around there and I'm gonna pull through everything. So now I've kind of closed off all six of these stitches into a little ball and um, it's called a popcorn stitch. So that's my first popcorn stitch and I'm going to be making four in this series. So that's my first one and now I'm going to chain four. One, two, three, four. And that is not counting as the next chain for the popcorn stitch. That's just kind of a spacer chain. So now I'm going to go into the same hole again and make sure you get into that same hole you started with. And I'm going to do an additional six uh, double crochets. So yarn over, go through the middle, yarn over, pull through, pull through two, pull through two. There's one, yarn over, pull through, pull through. There's two, three, four, five, that's my dishwasher beeping in the background, and six. So I'm going to count them, one, two, three, four, five, six. I'm going to turn my work, 
go into the top of that first double crochet, put my hook in, I'm going to grab it and pull through everything and there is my second popcorn. So I have one popcorn, I have four chain fours and another popcorn. Now I'm going to chain four again, one, two, three, four and go back into that same hole. It's starting to get really stretched out so I'm going to pull it pretty tight. Um, go in the middle, yarn over, pull through two, pull through two, and I'm going to do another six double crochets. So there's one, two, three, four, start over. Five and six. Again, I'm trying to keep this cinched up. Turn your work, go into the top of that first double crochet and poke your hook through. Wrap your yarn around and pull through everything. Okay, now I have three and two chains. So I'm going to chain another four. One, two. Okay, so now I'm going to chain four again. And go back into that original circle again. Yarn over and do another six double crochets. So that's one. Yarn over, pull through two. Yarn over, pull through two. Two. It's a little congested in that little circle, but just keep working it in. Um, we want it to be nice and gathered so you don't see too much. Okay, so six double crochets. I'm turning my work. I'm going to go into the back of that first stitch and loop my yarn over and pull through. So now I have four double crochets, or, or I'm sorry, four sets of six popcorn um, stitches and then I'm going to do another chain four. One, two, three, four. Now I'm going to go into the back of my original popcorn stitch and I'm just going to find kind of where the middle is and I'm going to put my um, hook in the very back of that and yarn over and pull through and then pull through the chain like that and then I'm going to finish it with a just a yarn over pull through and then I'm going to cut so I have a little bit of a tail left on my work and then I'm going to pull it tight and then I'm going to pull the end back through my work um, just using the top of that chain stitch kind of weaving back and forth so that um, the tail is in place and then we're also going to work over this work later so it should be really nice and secure. So once you've done that through those four stitches go ahead and kind of pull it and then cut your remaining end and then for your middle circle you can pull it tight and if you want you can kind of loop it through a few of these inner stitches. Um, if it feels like it's kind of flexing back and forth, we want that, that circle to be really tight. So I'm going to just pull through so I have a loop and then pull the tail through so it kind of makes a knot in it and pull it nice and tight. And then I'm going to cut my end there too. So now you have your row one and it's basically four popcorn stitches with four chain fours in the middle of each. So that will be your polka dots. You can work on these, you know, you can make a bunch of them up at a, you know, the same time since you have the yarn out, or you can work on one and then build up from there to get your squares. But that will be the center of your square. 
Okay, so now I'm gonna show you how to start building up your square. I'm gonna show you with the Baby Burnett um, blanket fabric, but if it is too difficult um, to see in the video, I'm gonna redo it with just some regular, uh, I'm sorry, yarn, not fabric. Um, so first of all, we wanna make a um, slip knot. And we're gonna go into one of our holes in our popcorn stitch. So we kind of turn it to the side and put our, our hook in there and pull it nice and tight. And this is kind of tricky to work with. Um, and then I'm gonna pull it through. And then I'm going to chain three. Yarn over, pull through yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through. So I have a chain three in the middle of my popcorn stitch. Now I'm gonna find that extra chain four and I'm gonna do two double cro crochets. So I'm gonna yarn over, go in under the, the chain four, come back around, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through. So that's my first double crochet. I'm gonna do two of those. So I have two double crochets then I'm going to chain two, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through. Now I'm going to do six double crochets in that same area. So there's one, two, three, four, five, and six. So I have in this little space, I have two double crochets, a chain two, and six double crochets. Now, where my six double crochets are, I'm gonna turn my work. I'm gonna go into that first of the six after the chain two, so in the back here's my, here's my uh, chain four, here's two double crochets, a chain two, and six double crochets. I'm gonna go into that first of the set of six, and I'm gonna bring it through for another popcorn stitch. So we have our first uh, popcorn puff to make our lattice for our afghan. Okay, so I have my first popcorn stitch in here, and I'm going to chain two. And then I'm going to go into that same loop area and do two more double crochets. So yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, go underneath there, and pull through two. So in this little um, loop section here, I have two double crochets, a chain two, six double crochets to make a popcorn stitch, chain two, two double crochets. So now I'm gonna go into my second popcorn stitch for my center section. And I'm gonna put my loop right in the middle. Uh, sorry, I'm gonna yarn over first. Loop in the middle and do a double crochet, just one in that little section. Then I'm gonna repeat my pattern that I did here with my popcorn stitch of two double crochets. So there's one, two, chain two, six double crochets, one, oops, three, four, five, and six. Then I'm gonna turn my work and make a popcorn stitch out of those six double crochets. Chain two. And slide my work over a little bit to make a little more space and do two more double crochets. So there's one and two. Now I'm gonna go into my next uh, center popcorn stitch, yarn over, put my hook through yarn over, pull through, and do another double crochet. Then I'm gonna work my next um, stitch here with two more double crochets, two 
two more chain twos, six double crochets with a popcorn stitch, then two more double crochet or two more chains, and then two more double crochets. So I will just continue working here. You can forward this part if you want. This is three, four, five, and six. Turn your work, make your popcorn, chain two, and two more double crochets. One, two, and two, our last little remaining popcorn ball here. Yarn over, do a double crochet inside of it, and then repeat one last time your two double crochets, chain two, six double crochets, a popcorn, chain two, and two double crochets. And I'll meet you back uh, when you're Okay, so I have um, done my last little set there, and now I am back to the beginning where I did my first um, chain inside the popcorn. So what I'm gonna do is go into the top of that chain with my hook, and then I'm going to yarn over and pull through um, both of the loops on my hook. So now I have my second row done. Now for this size um, and weight of yarn, you'll want to do, well I did four rows, so or four additional rows, so five rows total, this being the first, and then four sets of popcorn stitches going out. Um, depending on your yarn weight, you may want to use, do six or eight, just depending on how big you want your squares to be. So I'm gonna do four. So to start my next row, um, I'm gonna chain three. And then I'm going to go into the space right um, next to my chain. I'm gonna yarn over, put my hook in, and do another double crochet. And then I'm gonna find the next available space, and I'm going to yarn over and do another double crochet. So um, you're gonna kinda do that all the way around, um, but when you get to this chain two, area that you created next to your popcorn stitch, you're going to increase your work by putting two double crochets in this area. So yarn over, there's one, and there is two. So now, after I've done the two, I'm going to chain two, and then I'm gonna go into the center of this popcorn ball and I'm gonna put six double crochets. So, there's one, two, three, four, five, and six. Then I'm gonna turn my work and make a popcorn ball going into that last stitch there of the set of six and pop it. And then I'm gonna do another chain two. Then I'm gonna go into this lower chain two area that I created before and do another two double crochets in that single area. And then the rest of this row in these little gaps here, I'm just gonna put a double crochet until I get to my edge again where I have my other chain two area. So I'm just gonna find the next open area and do a double crochet, find the next open area, do a double crochet, the next area. And I don't even count these, I just find the next open area. And now I am, actually I have one more there. Okay, so now I'm to my chain two next to my popcorn ball and I need to put two double crochets in that section. There's one, and there's two, and then just always remember after you do your two double crochets, you wanna chain two. 
And after you chain two, you wanna go into your bottom popcorn stitch and put another popcorn stitch with a set of six double crochets. So here is one, oops. your next pop corn ball. Mm, I don't think I grabbed that correctly. Here we go. Okay. So um, then I'm going to chain two and then I'm going to go into this lower area and put another two double crochets. So there's one Two. And then I'm going to go across this next row and just fill in the blanks um, until I get to the end um, where I'm going to put two double crochets. So um, I'll meet you back at my chain two right before the next pop. Okay, so I'm made my popcorn ball and I'm going to chain two. I'm going to go into my chain two space below and put two more double crochets. And then I'm going to just go into this first one because I have um, my chain three that I started with here. So I'm gonna do one more double crochet here. And then I'm going to go into the top of my chain three that I started with and put my hook in there and pull through both. And I am done with my third row. So first row, second row, third row. Um, so and then I'm going to do a fourth and fifth row, but you basically just keep repeating this pattern and your increases are in the chain two spaces and then you just keep filling in these little gaps all the way around. So you're going to chain three and then go into um, the first open space with a double crochet. And then when you get to your um, your chain two, you'll put an additional two double crochets in that space to increase again. So there's one, two, and then you're gonna chain two, and then do another popcorn stitch, and then chain two afterwards, and just keep filling it in all the way around. Um, basically repeating the pattern, you know, again. So I'll do one more row and then I'll meet you at the end. So let's see here, I got one, two, three. Oh wait, that's looking kind of sloppy. Pull that out. Four. back down into that chain two space we created and do two double crochets. And then you're just gonna start filling in the gaps all the way around. So we're gonna find an open space there and fill it in the next open space. And just repeat this pattern all the way around, and I will meet you back when you get to, um, actually I'll meet you back at this last popcorn stitch and show you how to close up this row. Okay, so I have done my last popcorn, um, my chain two, and I'm just putting in my final double crochets in um, the last few little spaces here. You probably have the pattern down by now. Um, I'm going to go ahead and close up my work by grabbing onto the top of that chain three again and putting my hook through 
And then I have um, my four rows done. So I'm gonna repeat one more row and then I'm gonna be done. So if you like this size, um, you can just stop by uh, pulling through again and um, finishing off your work. Um, I'll show you how to do that in a minute. I'm gonna do one more row. So I'm gonna chain three and go into the next open space and do double crochets all the way to my edge where I'm gonna do my two double crochets, chain two, popcorn stitch, chain two, two double crochets, and then single double crochets all the way across. And I will meet you at the end of this row to show you how to close off, and then I will show you how to whip stitch your um, squares together. Okay, so I am finished with my last row here. So my fifth row, one, two, three, four, five. Um, I like the size of my square, so I'm going to go ahead and go into the top of my um, chain three that I started with, and I'm gonna pull my yarn through, and then I'm going to just do another um, stitch and pull through again. I'm going to cut, and then I'm going to pull it tight so it kind of knots off and then um, I'm going to take my hook and kind of weave the tail back in um, just so I don't have any straggling um, yarn. Just kind of back and forth through the stitches. So I'll go through the tops of the stitches and just pull it through. when I'm happy with how long it is. I think that's enough for me. I'm gonna cut it, kind of pull it tight, and then I'm also going to be um, whip stitching over this so it will be, um, you know, kind of secured that way too. So next I'm going to show you the whip stitch. Um, before I show the whip stitch, I'm gonna show you how to kind of get rid of this extra um, starting loop um, that we did on when we first started our outer rows. Um, I'm gonna just kind of grab somewhere in here and loop my extra yarn through a few of my stitches and then I'm going to, once I've done that, I'm just gonna loop it through itself and pull it tight so it has kind of a knot. That way it's kind of reinforced as well. So there you go on that. Um, so you, now you'll want to get a yarn needle and um, put some of your yarn on it. And um, then I'll show you how to. Okay, so once you have your squares done, you'll probably want to lay them out on the floor in a pattern, um, making sure that if you did two, two or three colors of dots that um, you have the right pattern that you want, and then you'll want to start whip stitching them together. So you're gonna put the right sides together, um, and then you're gonna start in the popcorn circles here. So I'm gonna put the backs of the popcorns together, and I'm going to put my yarn needle through both, and pull it through. And I just do a little knot to begin with. Uh, it's just easier for me. And then I'm going to bring my tail through these stitches later. Um, whip stitching is super easy. All you do is put the sides together. Um, and it's kind of tough to see these stitches, but you're just gonna kind of go through like so, all the way down your square, grabbing those top stitches um, one stitch at a time. And I know that this yarn is difficult to see the stitches in. It's also like super forgiving, so um, it doesn't have to be exact with this yarn, but with other yarns you'll want to go through every single stitch. Um, you can see it's just, I can't even see these stitches. Um, because they're so tight together. So you just continue all the way down and I will meet you back when you're... 
Okay, so I'm at the end here. I was thinking that was probably like the worst whip stitching tutorial ever, and I'm sure there's better ones out there. You're welcome to um, try, but I mean, it's really pretty basic. It's just, uh, you know, underneath your rows. When you get to the corner here, I kind of grab the popcorns by the center and run my needle and thread through. I do it a couple times. And then I'm going to grab one of my yarn loops to where I have a little bit of a remainder here. I'm gonna feed my yarn through and then pull it tight, but then hold on to my other end and then knot it off, kind of like a sewing knot. And then pull it tight and pull my yarn. And then with my remaining yarn, I'm just gonna be pulling it through my stitches that are going sideways and then those will eventually get whip stitched into the next row. Um, so I like to whip stitch all of my squares in one row together so that they're one long row and then do an entire row of whip stitching so that I don't have to keep you know cutting off um, and knotting my yarn. So um, that's basically your quilt squares. And then I'm gonna show you how to do the edging. There's the whip stitch from the front. It's, you can barely tell it's there. It's pretty cute. Um, I'll show you how to do the edging on this. Um, it's a really cute wave edging. I don't know if the pictures do it justice, but you're gonna love it. So we will get started on that as soon as you have your quilts. Okay, so I'm gonna show you how to do the wave um, border edging for this afghan. You're gonna first make a, another slip knot, and you're gonna go into, just assume this is all sewn together. I'm gonna show you um, on a small square just so I can show you how to do your corners. So you'll start in the corner of your afghan, and you'll put your, slip knot in place and then you pull it through and you're going to chain four so one two three four and then you're going to go into this next double chain space and for every double chain space you're going to put two double crochets but ordinarily if you're um, working on your afghan you would, um, you know, if you just have, if you're doing a different type of afghan with this border, you're just going to go along regular chain spaces. But because we have these um, extra little double chain spaces in this one, I'm going to put two double crochets in this first slot area. So there's one and there's two. And then I'm going to go into my next area. Um, my next stitch area and put one more double crochet. So each wave pattern is a series of four double crochets. My chain four is counting as my first double crochet in my starting block of this. So now I'm going to chain four, one, two, three, four. I'm going to turn my work and I'm going to go into the top of my first chain and put my hook into there, yarn over, and pull through both loops. Then turn my work back around, and now I have my, my four double crochets, my chain four, and my chain four kind of tacked down. So now I'm going to do six double crochets right into this loop area that I've created. So I'm gonna yarn over, go through the middle, pull through two, oops, I don't know what happened there. I'm gonna start over again. Yarn over, go through the middle, yarn over, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, and I'm gonna do this six times. So there's two, three, four, five, and six. And now I have my first scallop on here 
And then I'm going to go into the next open chain space down in my um, original afghan, yarn over and do an additional, um, I'm going to start my next shell, so another four double crochets. So there's my first, here is my second, next space my third, and the next space my fourth. So I'm starting my second shell. I have four more double crochets. I'm going to chain four. This yarn is so tricky to work with. One, two, three, four. Now I'm going to turn my work and um, where my first shell ended, not my my next set of four, but where my first shell ended, I'm going to put my hook into the back of that um, with my work turn it's the back, otherwise it'd be the front. Um, I'm going to yarn over and pull through and pull through. So I basically tacked down um, another loop here for the next shell to start. So now I'm going to put six double crochets in this hook. So yarn over, go through the middle, yarn over, pull through two. So six double crochets in here. There's two, three, four, five, and six, and my second shell is done. So now I'm going to start on my third shell. It's really pretty simple. It's four double crochets, a chain four, tack it into the back, six double crochets, and start over again. So I'm going to do four double crochets into my afghan. One, two, three, and four. And I'm going to chain four. One, two, three, four. Turn your work. Find the base of that last shell you did. Go through the back post. Loop your yarn through and through again creating a loop space for you to put your six double crochets in. So you just keep repeating this all the way around um, and then when you get to the corners I will show you how to do that and then also I'll show you where um, your popcorn stitches kind of meet together on the edges of your um, afghan. You're going to have to do a little bit of a um, variation there as well because you have some chain twos in place. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, and I'm going to start my next one. Chain, I'm sorry, four double crochets. Two, three, and four. Chain four, one, two, three, four. Turn your work, go into the back of your shell post, yarn over and pull through everything. Turn your work around again, and six double crochets. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Okay, so now I'm at the corner and um, I am going to do a, a little different, um, and depending on where you hit the corner, you might only need to put one of these in. Um, 
but because I've got two double crochets, a popcorn and two double crochets, I'm gonna do it this way. So I'm gonna do two double crochets inside my first chain two area next to my popcorn stitch. So there is one and there is two. And then I'm gonna go into my popcorn stitch and do another two double crochets. So there's one and two. And then I'm gonna chain four. And I'm gonna turn my work. I'm gonna grab the post of my last shell and pull through and I'm going to put six double crochets into that next loop area. One, two, three, oops, three, four, six and then I am going to go into this uh, popcorn again for another two so I'm going to put two double crochets in there and I'm going to put two double crochets in my next chain two space as I am making my turn one and two I'm going to chain four. I'm going to turn my work. I'm going to grab onto the post of that last shell I made. Yarn over and pull through everything. And then continue on my um, six double crochets. So you just continue this pattern all the way around, but um, the corners are a little tricky. And then also when you get to your um, intersections with your two popcorn sewn together on the sides, you're gonna wanna do variation too. So um, I will show you that next. But. Okay, so as um, I have been doing my border, you're gonna have on the sides here a place where the two popcorn stitches meet and your two chain two spaces. So what you're gonna wanna do is um, count your chain two as two um, for two double crochets in your border. So you're gonna do one, two, and then um, you can go into the top of your popcorn stitch, just pulling it apart um, for one stitch, and then go into the top of the next one for one stitch, and then I have my set of four double crochets for my base. Then you're gonna chain four, one, two, three, four. Turn your work, grab the post of your last shell. Lost my yarn here. Yarn over and pull through everything. Turn your work back. My yarn's getting everything tangled up. Um, and then do your six double crochets. Two, three, four, five, and six. Okay, so now um, moving on, we have this chain two space. So we'll do four, um, we'll do two double crochets in here and then continue on um, in each of these little spaces for our next shell. So there's one, two in the double crochet sp space, or the chain two space. And then we will do one in that space and one in that space. So hopefully you understand that. You'll chain four, you loop it around, 
and um, hook it into the back and then just continue on. You should have a nice transition through there. So um, that should complete the quilt and, or the afghan and hopefully you've enjoyed it. And if so, if you haven't already, please click subscribe down in the bottom corner so that I can keep bringing you more projects and um, I hope you really enjoy it.